Hello everyone, this is from FK here. So, it is time for a prediction video. And, well, we got some great news as, well, it is official that the St. Louis Cardinals will officially be back in action tomorrow as we will be facing the Chicago White Sox uh, on the first of a doubleheader tomorrow. Um, and then again on Sunday. Um, and, well, after this long hiatus, uh, it's really hard to believe that we haven't played a game in over two weeks. We are 2-3 and three on the year. Um, and, yes, yeah, so due to all of our COVID-19 positive tests, uh, put a little layoff, and um, that's why we couldn't play. Um, we had, I'm not sure what the total amount was, but it was, I think it was around 15 players and coaches that had COVID-19, including, of course, Yadier Molina and Paul, Paul Dion. Um, and, um, yeah, so that stopped us from playing. And, well, since so many games have been postponed, we are going to have to make up uh, most of those games. Um, and, yeah, so we've got a lot of doubleheaders coming up, um, including two next week, I believe, which will also be in Chicago against the Cubs. Um Monday and Wednesday. Um, so, but yeah, but I'm just uh, very, very happy that we are going to be back to playing. Um, so, but it, it definitely is, it seems a bit weird that we haven't played in, in over two weeks and every other team has, every other team has played at least like a dozen games. Um, so, but yeah, so our Last game was the 29th of July against the Minnesota Twins. We lost that game. I think it was, I don't even remember what the score was. I think it was like 3-2 to two maybe. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a one-run one, one run score. But, um, yeah, we lost that game to Minnesota. And, um, yeah, we won our series opener uh, over the Pirates. Took two out of three from them. Um, and then that series in Minnesota, and then we were supposed to play in Milwaukee, and then that's when it all started. And, yeah, so that's why we haven't played in over two weeks. So, um, but, um, yeah, so we'll be facing a Chicago White Sox team who is actually off to a – having a they're actually having a pretty good year this, this year so far. Um they made a number of signings in the offseason, including signing Yasmani yeah, Grandal, um, Edwin Encarnacion, um, Dallas Keuchel, former Scion winner, and a few more. But those were the big ones. So, And they have, yes, yeah, so they got a lot of really good hitters. Um, and, yeah, and pitching matchup, I believe, we will have Adam Wainwright on the mound in game one of the doubleheader, which starts at 12 o'clock, I believe. Um, and then the next game is, I think, at four. So, and of course, these are seven inning doubleheaders. So, all these doubleheaders that we will be playing, thankfully, they will all be only seven innings, which is nice because, you know, that'll kind of get the teams, you know, rest a little and then get back out and feel and play again a couple hours later. Um, so, but, um, yeah, and I don't know, it, it, it literally seems like we're starting a brand new season, um, and yet we're not. So, um, but yeah, and then I believe for game two of the series, I'm not sure if we've actually announced our, our starter, um, and also, since there have been a few players that still have not fully recovered from the coronavirus, we have put up a number of uh, players from, well, not the minor leagues, but our alternate 
site, um, including outfielder Dylan Carlson, who was supposedly, I think, our our best prospect. Um, I've heard he's had great career in numbers down in the minor leagues. So you could see him make his debut possibly probably in this series, and we've also caught up a number of other players. So, and also another, someone else that happened was, well, assistant coach and former Cardinal Willie McGee has optioned out of the season. Um, and I'm not sure who will take over his position. Uh, Willie McGee, uh, a... Uh, which is, I guess, kind of a fan favorite back in, like, the 80s, I think. Um, and now he's been a bench coach the last two years with us, I think. So he was optioning out of the season. So, but other than that, you know, I'm just very happy that we are finally going to be back to playing. Um, even though we're going to have to play so many double headers to make all those games up against the... White Sox, Cubs, Brewers, uh, Tigers, and Pirates still. I'm just glad that we're back into playing. So, um, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, and there's been a few teams around baseball that have really surprised me, such as the Miami Marlins and Baltimore Orioles, who had... Those two teams have like the worst records in baseball last year, and now they are, are playing well. And the Marlins, ironically, are actually in first place in their division. Um, and the Orioles are playing pretty good too. So, but um, yeah, so anything can happen really in the sixty-game season. We're already almost halfway through the season already. So, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. So. Until tomorrow, doubleheader against the White Sox. This is from OK saying, go cards.